I was thinking about something and it had to do with fornication and illness. And in my past, around the time when I would willfully and purposely sin, I used to get so sick. So sick. Like. as if my immune system was very weak or something. Like as time passed by, as I guess my evil increased, I guess it was like my health got worse. I'm serious. Okay. Now, back then, or around a certain time period, I would jog so much. I would exercise so much. I would play basketball and walk to clubs, bars, whatever they are called. You know, I did a lot of walking back then. But my health was so bad now. I mean, my, I would get sick so much, I mean. Okay, now. I don't exercise from my understanding, not even have as much. How is that possible? I mean, I don't, I believe I don't exercise have as much, but I think my health is so much better than before. How is that possible? Like, I did not really eat too healthy back then. I think I tried. I don't, <laughs> now, <laughs> I don't eat really healthy. Sometimes I eat asparagus and um, cucumbers, cucumbers bananas, oranges, and stuff like that, but not really too often. But my health is so much better. How is that? I'm not on any medications. I'm not taking any, like, shots for any sickness. So, what is the difference? Like, am I doing anything different? Back then, I would purposely do what is wrong, even though I knew it was wrong. But, you know, I thought that, hey, let me have fun, right? Or at least I thought something like that. Yes, I knew adultery, fornication, lying, cheating, stealing, and all that stuff was wrong. But I did so much wrong. And I would get sick so often. Now, 
I am trying to go by the rules of God. Am I saying I do everything perfectly? Of course not. I make mistakes. But my heart, my mind, is to do what is right. I'm not perfect. Moses was not perfect. King David was not perfect. Who else? <laughs> Peter was not perfect. Paul, the Apostle Paul, was not perfect. But I am, am I saying I am on the same level as them? No. But I am trying to do what is right. I am trying to be better. I am actively trying to do what is right. And I believe God is honoring that. My health is so much better. There are, I believe there are, should I say, certain type of diseases or sicknesses, whatever they are called, in my family. I don't have, I believe, I don't have any of it. I'm not taking shots for sicknesses. I'm not taking any pills and vitamins and supplements and all that stuff there. What I do, if I get sick, I pray about it. So there are, I'm not sure what the proper word is, diseases, sicknesses, whatever they are called, that is in my family. And to the best of my knowledge, I have none of it. I have none of it. Kevin, you are really lucky. No, it has nothing to do with luck. I would say God's grace. And I am actively trying to do what is right. Yes, God does care about your works. He does. Now, some people may be living for God now. And they may be sick or whatever else. So I don't know every case, but I think in my case, I was ill so much, not because of my family background or whatever. No, I believe it was due to my choices in life. Maybe part of it was my family's bloodline or whatever, but I think much of it was me. So, if you are doing wrong, if you know you are lukewarm, if you know you are in sin, if you know you aren't doing right, do right. Actively try to get better, even though you may fail many times. Because what do you have to lose? If you are really sick, if you tired of getting injections and stuff like that, why not? Try to do what is right. If you think you are doing right now, but you are still sick, hey, you may have to ask God what is going on. You may be getting tested. I don't know. But for me and for some people, I think it is due to behavior. For me, I think mostly it was because of my behavior the reason why I was getting sick so much. I had strap throat before. I think the first time I had that, that stuff was awful. Man, so painful. 
I had other things as well, but one of, I had something else. Listen now, let me share this with you. I forget what year it was, but um, I had my mind set. I had my mind set so much to do evil. You know, I had a plan on what I was going to do and I would constantly like repeat it out of my mouth and I think in my mind, how can I say that? Let's say that I constantly, I believe I constantly had it in my mind to do something. You know, I was mad, I was bitter, I was hateful, but I was planning to do big time wrong. I was really on a bad track. And for, I forget how long, but I was taking steps, yes, I was taking steps to reach those evil goals. Something happened and I woke up and I was not feeling well. Like, I believe I was feeling really, really bad. To make a long story short or shorter, I learned that I had appendicitis. Now, <laughs> look now, my mind was focused to do evil. I knew it was, I knew it was wrong, but I did not care. I wanted to do evil. And I believe shortly after, like I had so much hate and anger and whatever else within me, shortly after, I believe my appendix ruptured or whatever appendicitis is or whatever it did, <laughs> I had appendicitis. Like I was in the hospital on my back, mostly on my back and for like a week. And I was thinking about, really, really thinking about my life, like where, where I was headed as in like how my choices was so wrong. Like I had so much time, my Lord, I had so much time to think about how bad it was for me to even try to go that route. Hmm. You may say that, Kevin, it was a coincidence that that happened to you. No. I believe, even though I was feeling so bad when I had it, so bad, even though I was feeling so bad when I had it, I think God was showing me grace through which I believe he allowed it. I believe he showed me, shown me, showed me. I believe he's shown me grace through allowing that appendicitis. Because if he did not do that and just allowed me to do what I was planning, I would have did, I would have done some bad stuff, which I am so happy that I was stopped. So I believe that happened to me because I was going to do evil stuff. Are you doing evil now? K 
can it be you are sick because of your behavior? Maybe you like to cuss people out. Maybe you like to insult people and belittle them or whatever. Is it possible you are sick because of your behavior? Change it. Well, Kevin, I think you are wrong and I am going to keep on belittling people and looking down on people and cussing folks out. Hey, that is your choice now. That is your choice. Let me stop here. Okay.